Today marks the summer solstice and the longest day of the year with the mercury rising. You may already feel like we're in the tropics, but if you need some help getting into the spirit of the season, the Memphis Botanic Garden is the place to be this week. To find out, we are joined by their adult education coordinator, Carly Zamora. Thank you, Carly, and for bringing that dress. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm so happy to be able to share kind of the idea of palm weaving with you guys and give a little insight about what we'll be doing at the Tropical Garden Party. Yeah, so we're getting ready for the boozy popsicles, music, yes. mangoes, yes. and you're going to show us what is palm weaving? That's actually a really great question. So something that I personally relate to is when you're kind of a little kid and you're crafting, a lot of times you'll have those little plastic keychains that people would make like during summer yes. camp. Yes, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's actually kind of the basic idea of weaving. Um, although palm weaving in and of itself actually goes back to a lot of different cultures. It is a very deeply cultural thing. Um, so there's different places like Guam, Mexico, Hawaii, all over the world that will take palm leaves and actually strip them down into little um, kind of sections like we see here. Mm -hmm. And they'll make them smaller and that's how they'll make baskets, um, mats, roofs, things to be able to catch fish with, a lot of different stuff. So at our tropical garden party, which is tomorrow, we're gonna be showing you a little bit of an example of that and have guests actually be able to make their own different coasters. Coasters are kind of like the smaller version of the mats and also their own little baskets, which our baskets are little cute and tiny, so not anything scary well, or it's overwhelming. it's either candy or a shot glass. I mean, Oh, either or, <laughs> I'm just yeah. Kidding. Put some little images in there something yeah. like that we'll have some little um, tropical treats for everybody and as you see we kind of have some construction paper just to show some basics of palm weaving um, the construction paper is super helpful because palm leaves do get crispy and dried up but at the actual garden party you will be able to use real palm leaves nice. just like you'll be able to see in our youth education glass house which is at the garden oh my goodness I am yes. so excited about this it lights up kind of like yes. the the, you know how the lights on the Harahan Bridge change colors? Well, doesn't this, um, they, it changes colors according to what's happening in Memphis. It does. And the so world. It'll be really, really cool to be able to change up the different lights, especially when we have fun things like our Holiday Wonder series as well. They have something called a snow globe effect. So you'll be able to have this whole enchanting um, snow globe around you, which is really cool. But what will be nice for Tropical Garden Party is all of the things that are a part of the party, our drinks, our um, activities, are all using plants that you'll actually be able to see in our tropical glass house. Oh, wow. So for example, we have a pineapple mule. That's because we have pineapples in our glass house. You'll be able to have a um, mango margarita. We have our own mango tree in our glass house. So this. everything that you'll be tasting and get your hands on is actually stuff we grow at the garden. Ah, oh, and so you kind of take it, like you kind of yes. weave it in? Yeah, so the biggest thing is when you start with these palm leaves, you actually break them down. They all have little spines on them. Look at that. So you'll flatten them out and you'll be able to tear off these little sections. And that is what you use to weave are these little sections. So kind of showing like in a uh, paper example, with these little sections, the biggest thing is just, it's actually kind of meditative in my opinion, is going over and under and over and under uh -huh. until you get this good pattern going. And then once you have the pattern, you straighten everything up. This would make a coaster, for example, and uh -huh. make these little baskets. You'll actually see this little section right here. You'll loop around and it's almost a matter of just tucking things in, oh. and straightening them out. And that's how you start the base of your basket. So it's all really simple techniques that a lot of people probably, like I said, have used when they were kids or used in their daily lives. But these are practices that have been passed down for generations, which is so cool to be able to have the little yes. start of your basket. Oh my goodness, I love this. Yeah. And so um, how, how long is it? So it's tomorrow, but what, what time to what time? And yes, so it's tomorrow from 6.30 to 8.30. We'll have um, all the different palm weaving. Like we said, our drinks. We'll have some tropical treats for people will be able to eat. And you can buy tickets online at membg.org. Um, it should be a really fun event. We're excited to have this as like our first really big event with our Youth Education Glass House. It's, and speaking of youth education, I mean, there people say, oh yeah, the Memphis Botanic Garden, I'm going to an event there, but there, it, it really means yeah. something. It is not just this space with flowers. Can you explain just the importance yeah. of having a botanic garden in our city? 
Yeah, absolutely. One of the most important things that I always talk to people about is being able to have this green space within a city in and of itself. Having such an urban space and having kind of like a little slice of, in my opinion, peace, meditation. It's so important to get outdoors and get a connection with nature. It actually follows our mission statement. Our mission is all about connecting people to nature, to the environment, so that they'll have a greater appreciation of it. And for some people, that looks like going outside and gardening, and to some people, that looks like going outside for a nice drink. And you have educational opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. So we have um, our youth education. We have a lot of field trips. We serve over 40,000 children per year. Mm -hmm. And then as far as adult education, we have a lot of different varieties of classes. If you want to get your hands on and try stuff, you can try. Um, we have some painting classes. We have art crafting classes. We actually have a class at the end of June that's all about pollinator gardens. So if you want to learn about pollinators. Carly, thank you so much. Yeah. And you know, no, it's not just about the boozy popsicles, okay? You're mm -hmm. gonna get to see the new tropical house, tropical house, right? That's yeah. so cool. All right, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank Bye. you.